OK, let's now speak to Richard Borthwick. He's uh, on the phone now from Sutton on Sea. Morning to you, Richard. Good morning. Richard, um, tell us what, what you felt. Well, I was actually dictating a letter to uh, somebody, and uh, while I was recording it, um, the uh, earth tremor, earthquake, whatever, that actually happened, and I actually recorded the noise that it made. It, it was incredible. The entire building shook. Um, I opened the door to go outside, and every, I live in a sort of countryside location, and every animal outside, every bird, dog, cat, was making noises. Uh, I, we've got ducks in our house, and they were all, they, it's almost like they were being attacked, you know. You could hear every different type of animal out there making squawking and barking noises because they could feel it themselves, you know, and, you know, animals are, tend to be more susceptible to that sort of stuff. But I've never seen anything like it. The, the entire building shook, glass was rattling. Uh, we did have a couple of things fall off our shelves, nothing of, of great value, but, you know, they, it, it really was an enormous uh, noise. And Richard, in terms of any damage, you said some, some, some things had fallen off some shelves, but structurally around you where you are, can you see much damage, not only to your house, but I, those I think in your it's village? Too, it's too dark to really see um, any damage. We'll have to have a look in the morning when, the, uh, you know, when it's light to see exactly what damage may or may not have been done. Um, but, um, you know, from the noise of it, you could actually feel, you could feel the building shake from the bottom right the way through to, to the top. You could actually hear rattling up in the sort of metal structure in the roof, and um, you, you could hear the noise in so many different parts of the building. It would be amazing if, um, you know, the, the, the size of our place, that, that uh, it, it hasn't caused some damage, and certainly across the country, for sure. I mean, as I say, if you want to hear the recording of it, it it's, it's incredibly noisy. I'm sure um, we would absolutely love to do that. Uh, I'm sure if you speak to uh, some of my colleagues uh, after we've had our chat on air, yeah. then uh, we would uh, love to uh, bring that to other viewers on Sky News. Absolutely. And yeah. um, Richard, I just want to ask you, uh, we just spoke to uh, another viewer who is in Leicestershire, and she said she felt the tremor at around 1 o'clock. Uh, exactly would you say that 12, was the same? exactly 12.55, because I, was, well, I looked at the clock as soon as it happened. Right. 12.55 it actually happened. It lasted about, uh, lasted about five or six seconds, maybe. Maybe, maybe ten seconds. It, but it... It, 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 after it had finished shaking, things were still rattling, you know, because of the, the vibration that had, had gone on. It, it carried on after the physical movement at the bottom of the ground had stopped. Things at the top were still shaking. And Richard, I mean, how on earth did you feel when this happened? I, I couldn't understand it. I thought, uh, similar to the lady saying about a juggernaut, first of all, I thought that possibly uh, we live in an area where we have lots of low-flying aircraft, so sometimes the building um, shakes when some you know, um, RAF jet flies over at, you know, 200 feet. Uh, I thought it could be something like that or perhaps a, a plane, one of those planes or something that might have crashed, but clearly not if it's been all over the country. And, and also, again, because we live very close to the sea, we're only, you know, half a mile from the sea, it was a bit of a concern um, in the same way as they, they had in the, in the world previously with tsunamis and things. They are, you know, when they're close to the sea, it isn't mm. a good thing at all, you know. So, but there doesn't appear to be anything like that going on. And Richard, uh, did you, have you managed to speak to any of your neighbours at all? You said you saw lights go on. I mean, obviously you heard yeah, the animals. Yeah, very similar sort of thing. You can see that people are up and about. We're, 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 but they don't know what happened. They've all just woken up, you know. They're probably turning on the television to, and, and watching Sky News now and, and finding out what actually happened. It's only those people who were awake would probably realise what had occurred. The rest of the people probably think they're having a restless night, you know. Or, or, you know, they, they probably can't understand why they've woken up, you know. And Richard, in, in your experience, um, are you, would you feel fair to say this was definitely some kind of earthquake? Well, I mean, I, I, and, you know, I don't know if I was in the epicentre of it or not, but it certainly felt like it here. Um, you know, I, 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 similar to the other lady, I was in Los Angeles once when they had one of those tremors. And, they, you know, they came back and said it was something on the Richter scale, I can't remember, which they, called to, they, they said it was a, a minor tremor. And this one was probably four times bigger than that. Um, it, it was a much, much bigger tremor than um, the one that I'd experienced in Los Angeles. OK, uh, Richard Borthwick in uh, Sutton-on-Sea. Uh, we appreciate uh, speaking to us tonight on Sky News. Thank very, thanks very much. Thank you. Let's go to another caller now. This is Mel Garrett. Now, she's in Lincolnshire, so from uh, Sutton-on-Sea to Lincolnshire. Uh, Mel, good morning to you. Good morning. Mel, t uh, tell me what happened in Lincolnshire, where you are. Well, we were laying almost asleep and we felt a, 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 a 